In this lesson, I want to talk a little bit about alternate setups for your pad controller. I think sticking to the same layout all the time is a bit of a mistake. I think you should try as many different layouts as possible because they can result in different beats being easier or harder to play and they can inspire different type of beats. So in this setup right now, I've got kick there, hi-hat there, snare there, and open higher there. And I've got the same thing on this side. One's pan left and the other one's panned right though. So hopefully if I've set everything up properly in the video, you'll be able to hear them on the left and right in, the, in your headphones if you're wearing them. So that allows you to do, just with your muscle memory, you can learn a, a pattern like this. So it's snare, I mean, kick, hi-hat, snare, hi-hat, kick, hi-hat, snare, hi-hat, kick, hi-hat, snare, hi-hat. Try it with the left hand. And both of them together. Obviously, once you practice it enough, get the muscle memory working, you can start to do it a lot faster. And you can add the open hi hat in. So it's a lot of fun, and it's not too hard to play once you practice it. All right, so. That's, I really like having alternate setups that inspire completely different style beats. Um, another setup I've got, so that was with two um, sounds, trying to play two sounds at the same time, and that allows a bit of room for error with flaming, with doing having a bit of distance, having a, not playing them perfectly at the same time, um, which is normally undesirable, but if you want, you can do it on purpose. So this setup, I've got two hi-hat sounds there, two kick sounds there, and two snare sounds there. And as I said, that sort of sound is normally undesirable. You can do it on purpose if you want. Those. Cool. Um, so that was just, I uh, just wanted to show you guys that, that you don't have to <laughs> do what's considered desirable. You can play around with stuff and have a bit of fun with it. Um, I just like the challenge of trying to do things like that um, and you can see the way I did it I sort of approach it at, a, at an angle and sort of roll it off like that um, you can do something like that too where you could just practice hitting them um, like that now I really like this two pads at the same time setup it just gives a different feel um, it's really fun to play it makes you feel a little bit more powerful you can with software and with a lot of uh, even standalone devices you can set up two uh, sounds to be played on the same pad or with this device it doesn't allow you to do that but you could record two samples together and put it on the SD card but as I said I just like playing two at the same time which is fun to do so and I'll slow that beat down for you Um, yeah, so I find the, these sort of things really fun to do, make you try and learn completely new muscle memory for your hands, um, and that's the way, once you've learnt lots of different techniques, it's the way you can really start to surprise yourself with what you can pull out. Cool. And that's it for this one, see you in the next one.